let me tell you about what happened today. Uh, of course, Republicans went over the White House and they started talking about the debt ceiling and what kind of spending cuts we're going to have. Now, I hate to break it to you, but it's all one big con job. And I don't mean by the Republicans, I mean by the whole political establishment, including the Democrats. First, the Republicans. They put up a vote the other day on the debt ceiling and they said, all right, let's do a clean vote here uh, on whether we, we should just raise the debt ceiling or not. Now, on the one part, they told the Tea Party guys, hey, don't worry, you see that? We're not going to allow a clean vote. It's got to have spending cuts. Aren't we on your side? Then they turn around to their Wall Street donors and they say, don't worry, we don't mean a thing by this vote. This vote doesn't matter at all. Trust me, we're going to raise the debt ceiling. In fact, John Boehner has said uh, they've pushed the date back. They've pushed the date back, pushed the date back. But it's clear to me that at some point we're going to have to raise the debt ceiling. Now, he's made many comments like this before. Tim Geithner says that he's talked to the guys on Wall Street and they already got assured by the Republicans, oh, believe me, we're raising the debt ceiling. Don't get us wrong. All right, so that's the Republicans, but I get their motivation. They want to appease their base and they want to appease their donors. Now, when you turn to the Democrats, look, that vote that the Republicans put up, it was 318 to 97, right? So it wasn't even really close. Now, all of the 97 votes were Democrats, but there was a lot of Democrats who voted the other way. Why did they do that? Because they buy into this ideology of, we've got to have spending cuts. If we don't have spending cuts, the American people will punish us, which I don't believe for a second. I think that that's just Washington nonsense. Look, for example, they could have said, hey, why don't we do a clean vote on it? As we did under Bush countless times when the Republicans insisted that we have clean votes to raise the debt ceiling. Why don't we go back to that standard? Here's another thing they could say. Hey, you know who caused this debt? You guys did. You created this mess. The number one cause of the debt is the Bush tax cuts. Number two cause is the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Number three cause is the economic downturn all caused by Bush and the Republicans. Now, they don't push back on any of that. Instead, they go along with this. Why? Because they're playing good cop, bad cop on us. In the end, both parties want to cut spending to who? The middle class and the poor. Democrats want to say, oh, I'm such a good cop. I want to help you. But oh, the Republicans twisted my arm. And in the end, I had to cut spending on you. And did we touch the taxes on the rich? Of course not. They get to have their tax cuts. And we, oh, look at that. The Republicans twisted my arm again. Oh, I had to agree on further tax cuts for the rich. And they all play these silly games. And in the end, what happens? You get hurt by it. And the rich donors that gave to both the Democrats and the Republicans wind up winning. And that's how this game is played.